Yo, what's going on ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another exciting episode. So yes, this is a fishing video, but before we get to the fishing, this is my proper introduction. But anyways, uh, two of the most common quest questions I get about bugs fishing lures is number one, what is my favorite lure to use? And basically I have two answers to that. Number one, it's gonna be the bugs curl tail in black and gold. And the second, it's gonna be the flats bug in black and gold. So tomorrow I plan to hit up this brand new spot with my buddy Oscar who also has a YouTube channel called HTX Polestar. Why don't you guys help him out? Click on the link in the description box below, hit him with a subscribe, help him get to a thousand subscribes, help the brother out. He's a good friend of mine. Tomorrow I'm gonna be using the Flats Bug, probably going to miniature rise, miniature size. <laughs> so I'm gonna be using the Flats Bug 3 16th ounce right here. Let's see if we can get that in focus. Why are you not focusing? There we go. Let me take it out of package and show you guys. This has been money. I like to use this with my BFS equipment. Especially the all the bearing BFS with the BFS old 18 rod, as you guys can see here. It's like a little miniature crabish shrimp crustacean type lure. 316 pounds, very small, has a little paddle tail at the end. However, I'm not too fond with this curl tail, paddle tail type plastic at the end. I just don't think it has much action. Therefore, I like to rig it up with the Strike King crappie. Uh, tuxedo black chartreuse this has been a really nice small little miniature paddle tail that i like to add or trailer wise i like to add to the flats bug i've been doing this for a few years now i've caught a lot of big fish and honestly i expect to catch some fish using this mechanism right here and real quick let me show you exactly how to rig it on so you guys can stop asking me. <laughs> i'm just joking you can ask me anytime i'm gonna take this tail off we're just gonna rip it off right here it comes right off easily boom just like that, all done. As you can see, it's just a jig head now. Looks like a little fly. And next, I like to get one of these paddle tails right here, uh, which if you're interested in buying this, there's a direct link in the description box below. Get one out just like so. As you guys can see like that. It's very small, very miniature, but has very good movement when you use it like a paddle tail or when you're trying to work it like a paddle tail and it induces that strike, especially from redfish, flounder, and speckled trout, all big three. There, I like to get the hair out of the way like that so it doesn't interfere with the trailer. And what I'm gonna do basically, let me see if I can get out of the picture there so it doesn't focus. Uh, I'm gonna make sure, I'm gonna make sure the paddle tail is gonna be right side up when I hook it up just like that. I like to make it sure I put it on the third ridge right there. You can see the third ridge on that little Strike King crappie and put it through just like that and boom, that is done. Now I'm just gonna put all the hair back, the flats bug with the added trailer for added enhancement and added strike capabilities. That's how I like to use this and I'll tie it on once again on my ultralight BFS old 18 rod with my Aldebaran BFS or other BFS reel that I have. I have plenty of them. And catch big fish with it, man. What do you guys think? You guys like this? Have you tried this out? Let me know in the comments below. I would love to hear your opinion about it. Once again, I've been using this for many years and it's really, really worked. And yeah, this just, this is a great product, man. This crappie, the official name is called Crappie by Strike King. You know, honestly, Slabalicious. There you go. There you go. It's called a Slabalicious. Two inch Slabalicious. For some odd reason, I call it some other different name. That's just my stupidity, I guess. But, anyways, guys, using this lure tomorrow, trying out a new spot. We're going to see if we can catch some big fish. So, here. Yeah. Looking for some speckled trout, maybe redfish and flounder. But look how glass this water is, people. Look how beautiful it is. Sunrise just now. I'm super happy, super excited. You can join me. Let's see if we can catch some fish, baby. Plan is simple. We're gonna look for some deep spots. It's relatively deep here, five feet, six feet. We're gonna be looking maybe for some working birds, slicks, bait jumping out in the water. Water temp is not too bad, so I'm actually pretty happy with that. And yeah, work structure if we need to. We'll work the walk, rock walls and grass. Yeah, just have a good day of fishing. It's an interesting spot, man. We got a bunch of rocks here. Looks like we're bass fishing, but it's saltwater fishing. I got my boy Oscar right there. You guys check him out. I'll leave a link in the description box below. He's a good buddy of mine. We've been fishing for a while. He's been in several of my videos in the past. Uh, what's the game plan, bro? Uh, hit the bank all the way down. Hit the bank, okay. If you want to skip all that, you can go right in that corner. <laughs> sure you'll start. Is that the secret spot? That's the secret spot. <laughs> 
we're at the spot man there's a nice drop off right here off the bank into like i guess this main channel here i see some big big markings on my fish finder there they're down there cold weather cold water i mean that doesn't really surprise me but the problem is how do we get them to bite that's the issue right now that i'm facing and hey, look at that sunrise people tell me that is not beautiful in your eyes man god is good for sure all right we got first one on there we go there we go it's got some pull on him yeah i think he's gonna it's gonna be my first keeper today he's got some pull oh yeah that's a nice one nice one nice one oh yeah nice one right there first keeper baby yeah you <laughs> Yeah, man, yeah. That's a healthy boy right there. Good 16 and a half, 17 inches, man. Just trolling. And my boy Oscar got one on too. Here they come out to play. Sun coming up. Oh, it's a big one. <laughs> All right, here we go. Let's let this guy go. Look at that. Pretty little fish right there. Beautiful fish, man. Later. Man, that's a beauty, man. 17 inches all day, bro. It's a nice one. Yeah. Healthy trout, right? Yeah, Beautiful trout. Looks awesome. like, yeah, they're on the bottom. Look at that mud in the bottom. You yeah. See that mud? Yep. That's where they're at. Okay, so we know what to do. Target bottom. Yeah, yeah. Beautiful fish. Good job, bro. Yes, sir. It's a little bit different than what Oscar was doing. I was just trolling about five feet deep. Oh, there's something right there. Five feet deep down. And when Oscar pulled his up, there's mud on the bottom of the trout. So that means they're kind of sticking to the bottom. So we're going to be targeting bottom slowly. I'm going to be trolling my lure on the bottom. Uh, occasional cast here and there. See if we can get a couple more and call it a day. As you can see, there's some huge markings down there. So what I did is just kind of threw my lure back there. I'm just going to let it troll slowly. Kind of go up and down the end part of this little lake. All right, another one. Nice. He nailed this one pretty good. It's another good sized trout. All right. Yeah, man, just easy trolling, easy money. They're getting a little bit more aggressive now. That's another good sized one, man. They are pretty healthy back here in this freaking lake. Oh, yeah, that's a good one right there. Look at that. <laughs> Woo! You see that, people? That's what you get with good water and good freaking trolling. Yes, sir. Laters. And that's how you do it, ladies and gentlemen. Oops, sorry. <laughs> that's how you do it. Two hour fishing so far. Not bad at all. It could be a little bit better, but, you know, I'm not going to complain. I'm having a good time. Loving what I'm seeing here. Calm water, beautiful day. The trout are kind of biting. We'll see if they'll get active in a few more minutes. Oh, my boy Oscar got a red on. That's a red. He's a keeper. You're right. They're always here. How's that work? <laughs> Woo! Man, I can't believe you're right. You caught a red here. I can't believe I told it. You. Let me get the release, bro. Slow mo. Come on. Hold on. Let me measure. I want to see what he is. What you think? 26? Uh, lift him up again? I didn't really. Yeah, about 25. Nice spec. Oh, he's a good size spec, bro. Real good size spec. Yeah. Nice spec, dude. Oh, wow. Yeah, nice spec, man. Woo! Golly, he's gonna be 19 inches, 20 inches all day. And caught him on the bugs, man. Look at that. I was like, man, you know what? Let me go and use the bugs. 
And what do you know? We get a big, big guy. Look at that. There you go. Bugs. Flats bug. Miniature. Micro size. And he committed. Look at that. Let's get a measurement, man. Take some pictures and let this big dude go. Woo! Yeah, we're not going to keep this one. She's obviously too big. And, uh... At that breeding age, <laughs> the baby making age, 20 inches. Look at that, 20 inches, barely past it. So you know I'm not lying, 20 inches right there. All right, girl, thank you for hitting my flats bug. Man, she freaking inhaled that one real good. There she is. All right, we're gonna let you go. Revive her, big girl, 20 incher. Want to make sure she swims off strong. She's kicking pretty hard, so I'm pretty happy. I didn't keep her out of the water for too long. Let's get her. Take it easy, girl. Take it easy. Look how pretty that girl is. 20 incher. Baby maker. There she goes. Chewy! Oh man, what a great day of fishing, man. Three keeper. My boy uh, Oscar caught two keepers. I mean, I think I'm pretty content, man. I'm not going to head out, guys. Thank you so much. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe. And uh, oh, yeah, I usually give you what I'm using today. So let me do that. Let's back up, rewind. All right, today we're using the old 18 suppressor. I got the new Aldebaran BFS. I got 1.2 gauge Veribus braided line, 12 pound fluorocarbon from Veribus. And at the end, we got the one that actually got us the biggest fish today, the curl tail, the flats bug. This is the 3 16th ounce small one using the BFS ultralight stuff. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Hit that like button, subscribe, all that good stuff, and we'll catch you on the next one.